Welcome to Kung Fu Happy Number 2. This is my last Black History Martial Arts video. I will do some more Black History Martial Artists on Thursday, providing that I don't forget. I'm going to go write the list down of people that I want to do. That, that way it did not come out right at all. But for this video specifically, for Martial Arts and Black Actor, we're going to deal with Wesley motherfucking Snipes. Alright, so for all of y'all who don't know, Wesley Snipes made his movie debuts mostly as bad guys or thugs, with the exception of that first uh, lottery commercial that I found, which was cool. And um, when, he, when he broke out to the scene, he broke out to the scene as Nino Brown from New Jack City. He didn't do any martial arts in that film, you know. And then he did another movie, King of New York, with Christopher Walkins, where he again played a thug or a bad guy. And he didn't do a lot of martial arts in that film. Because a lot of people really didn't know that Wesley Snipes actually knew karate until he did. Demolition Man. Now, I don't know if Demolition Man came before Passenger 57 on release dates, because my mind is not all the way there on perfect dates and shit like that. But Demolition Man opened up the door for him to do more martial art movies. We're going to get to Blade in a minute. All right? But for Demolition Man, you know, he had his hair orange and... He's beating shit out of Sylvester Stallone and all kinds of other stuff. Kicked the man through a thing. Took out a guy's eye. Threw another guy through a window. It was awesome. So if you haven't seen Demolition Man, you should go see Demolition Man. And Wesley Snipes has done other movies where he didn't do any martial arts. And this isn't about that. Because this is a martial arts channel. So we're only going to review the martial art movies that Wesley Snipes has done. And that will include Blade. All three of them. So. Started with Demolition Man. He played a bad guy whose name I can't remember right now. And I don't want to remember it because I want you guys to go watch it. It still holds up for me. So it may hold up for you. But Sylvester Stallone and Wesley Snipes, they were frozen and then they were woken. And then all hell broke loose. And that's all you're going to get because I'm not going to ruin the movie for you because I want you to go see Demolition Man. Moving on from Demolition Man, we're going to go on into Wesley Snipes, Passenger 57 and Always Bound on Black. Rewind. <laughs> Moving on to Demolition Man, we're going to go on to uh, Money Train. We're going to go to Money Train. I know I started off with Passenger 57, but that was a little bit better movie for me than Money Train. Even though Money Train had the beautiful and gorgeous Jennifer Lopez, the cool as hell Woody Harrelson, but the domination, phenomenation known as Wesley Snipes, where he actually got to view some of his martial arts in that movie. And I think that movie might have came out before Demolition Man, but I could be wrong. But anyway, that being said, that's one of the movies where he got to show some of his martial art prowesses and he kicked some people's ass who were trying to beat up his half-brother or his step-brother or whatever the hell relationship he was to Woody Harrelson, which the two would later go and make another movie called White Man Can't Jump. It has nothing to do with martial arts, so we're not going to have that in here, but you guys can go see that. Money Train, he used martial arts maybe in two scenes. That's why I put that here as White Man Can't Jump. There were no fist fights. It was more like a comedy with the beautiful, sexy Rosie Perez. But anyway, moving on from that. Yeah, I'm an undiscovered actor, so if they ever get to see this, maybe they'll look me up. Maybe they'll give me the job. Anyway, that being said, we're going to move on through Money Train because he kicked the guy in the face and said, who are you calling the N-word, which was fucking awesome. And then he moves on. Now we're going to go to the baddest Wesley Snipes movie that I like the most, even more than Blades, and that would be Passenger 57. Not going to ruin too much. Just imagine it being Die Hard with a black Bruce Willis in on an airplane. That's pretty much the gist of it. To give you anything else we're totally ruin the movie, there is martial arts in the movie. And I want you guys to go check that shit out. So you should definitely go check out Demolition Man. Passenger 57. Um, and Blade, which we're about to do right now. So in Blade, Wesley plays a half-vampire, half-human... Basically, he's an anomaly, and he's a day walker. His mom was bitten by a vampire when she was pregnant with him, which made him part vampire. I don't know how the actual story works. I think it might have been retconned here or there from the comic book of Marvel Comics. Blade was a character from the Night Stalker comics, and in the Night Stalker comics, he teamed up with the original Ghost Rider, uh, Johnny Blaze, and they rode motorcycles, and they helped the vampire named Morbius, and sometimes Black Cat popped in, but that has nothing to do with this, because everything is about Wesley Snipes. And Wesley Snipes, he teamed up with... Um, the guy that played the lion in Beauty and the Beast. And I know him, Ron Perlman. I'm sorry that I had a brain fart right there, Ron Perlman. Nice to remember your name now. And in that movie, uh, Blade was the star. And Blade was kicking ass. Him and Ethan Hawke and all these other people. They was just... Was it Ethan Hawke? No. It was not Ethan Hawke. 
I think it was Dorn. I think it was Michael Dorn. No, not Michael Dorn. Um, I don't know your damn name, but I know who you are. I know your face. It's an actor. He was playing the bad guy. And um, he was trying to get Blade's power. And he actually got it. Steven Dorn. There you go. I am sorry, Ethan Hart. I'm sorry, Steven Dorn. Y'all kind of look alike. I'm sorry. Y'all could play brothers. Any, you may have. But anyways. Point of the matter being that Blade was a martial art vampire hunting son of a bitch with a badass sword who kicked everybody ass. Now there's a trilogy and I'm not giving you any more because I want you guys to go watch the trilogy. It still holds up for me. It may hold up for you. Later in life, Blade would be replaced by Sticky Fingers on a TV show. Okay. That being said, we're done with this tribute to Black Martial Artist. Thanks for watching.